everyone i'm sharing with you how to make a handbag this time we're going to fold as the um origami okay the fabric i have here is a solid color and i have another one with the polka dots and i'm going to so this is the right side whatever side you're facing up and this is the right side facing down so right side facing together so this way when I iron the interface and after I'm done, I'm, I cut two at the same time. So make sure everything is made up. I have here 16 inches, number A all nine, interfacing. And I'm going to iron the interfacing on the back side of the main fabric. And when I iron, I make sure that all around, I have about a quarter of an inch extra when I cut it out. So go and iron this. When you iron, make sure you turn this um, iron to medium, medium. Don't go all the way up here because it's going to ruin your interfacing. After you iron all, you go to cut and leave extra a quarter of an inch all around. Cut this out, okay? Everyone, after I cut it around, I leave an extra a quarter of an inch. You don't have to be like perfect extra a quarter of an inch. As long as you have the interface in here, cut perfectly 16 inches or whatever you want, okay? So you're going to so follow the interface and then you sew, but you go on to leave. I would do four and just you can do two three because after that we're going to do um top stitch all around so follow the interface and then sew all around this square piece okay leave this open so you can inside out everyone after i sew on around and i left it here open you can go to the corners and then you can trim a little bit all around a quarter of an inch you don't need to do anything because the interface and that help you push out the um, the side so you don't need to do much but in this area right here you're gonna fold it in so when you inside out it's already have a lie for you so do this only on this area okay and to the back side corners already pushed out now you go on and you don't need to do much you see the in the interface and put out the line everything all you need to do just iron the whole thing everyone after i iron all around you're gonna go and top stitch four sides here okay okay everyone after i top stitch all around i'm going to fold in a triangle you go on to use the iron because every time we fold we go on to iron it so make sure the corner meet the corners and everything and then you go into irons on the full if i turn it on turn it a little high because at this time it's a thicker fabric and it's two size so fold in this and iron it really well okay So now this one, and now we're going to go on this side. Another time, folding triangle, corners, corners, meet corners, iron all the way. Sometimes when I do the video too short, and it's like uh, I feel bad because it's not good enough detail so um let me know if you think my video is too long
Okay, so now when you have something like that, you're gonna fold in this way. Fold it in half and make sure all the corners meet up nicely. Iron this. Make sure you iron on the fold here. Okay, and now we've been using this right side to fold. Now we're going to turn into this side like this. Okay, and we fold in this way. The green is out. This is the only one side that we fold it out this way. Okay, and I in this. All right. Open this up. So now you can see that we have. Let me get all the clips so my octopus hand don't out the way. Okay. So now you holding this side. I'm gonna stand up. Holding this side. Okay. And then this side. Like this. Okay. Exactly have something like this. Okay. I'm going to do this first. Just want to hold it for me so when I fold it won't go crazy. I'm going up three inches. Right here. I'm folding this up. It's a little thick, so when you iron, make sure you iron. It's really good. Hold this down for now. Okay. Now you have this side and this side like this, okay? You're going to fold this side over here, but make sure this side meet the top and this side right here meet this side. You see, I'm gonna just do this right here first, and I'm going to iron right here. I'm gonna iron. Okay, now you have that side like that. Now you're going to bring this side over. Same thing, make sure this full. Of this fold meet this side right here so go like this you see everything meet up nice I in it okay now so when after you iron Let's just wait a little bit because it's totally too hot. Okay. This side right here, you're gonna fold it out this way. And you iron this. Like this, okay? Before you open this, 
you're going to get clip clip it down so when you open it it won't go crazy okay just clip it down just for now open like this and clip it together like this open this one there you have the basket So everyone, after you fold, everything is like this, right? This one is thick, so you're going to do... Let me just clip it down so I can do this. Okay, at this one right here. Okay, so you're going to fold this down like this. So that's not thick in here, and then you fold the extra on the top down. super easy okay so now this is like this okay it's so pretty when you have it in your in front of you okay and this side you're going to do exact the same hold this and then fold this down like this make sure that right in the middle like that even and then fold the extra on the top down and from here you're going to iron it you see if I can fold it down this way, and I fold in this way, like this, and then the bottom, like that, so then you can iron this. So like that. Now we're going to sew it in. Now you can turn this into the handbag if you want to. You can do this. Fold the two sides like this. Okay. And then you can sew this line right here. That fold. You can sew. And then on this line right here. You can sew this line. If you want only when you want to turn into the handbag. And then on this fold right here. Sew this line. And then on this side, sew this line, okay? And then what, after you sew, it's going to be like this. It's already like this. And then you ask the handle on the two sides, okay? And if you don't, you can leave it like this to make it like a basket to, to uh, put everything in here for your sewing. Just stop and fold it right there to sew. Okay. Put my hand in here. And on this side. Do exactly the same. Move this in so you can feel. You can feel it when you have thing in your hand. You can feel the fabric. Okay, and then this side, same thing. you can see this is what we have okay so we're going to sew this line on this side this side and on this side
So every one after I sew in the four sides here, one, two, three, and four. All right. So I have cut here that three inches wide and 25 inches long, the fabric. Big one after I sew on the top and the bottom, which is folded in half, we're going to cut it into two. All right, so at this point right here, that is the one inch. Okay, that one inch is right on here. You're going to add, and then you're going to mark one inch over here. So you can add the do the same thing to the other side, okay? So now open this so I can ask the handle right in here. Put it down a little bit, like a quarter of an inch inside. A quarter of an inch. Or you can mark here a quarter of an inch and then slide it down, but I can feel it with my hand. Okay, I can feel it right here, a quarter of an inch, right it's there. Okay, and now you have one side of the handle, going to do the same thing to the other side. Alright everyone, so we're going to sew the top together. So we're going to go all around the top here. Okay everyone, let's sew that. I'm going to take this away to make it easier. You, um, I, my sewing machine don't have the thing that you can lift up and sew on the, the, um, the thick area. But I have the fabric ready, so I can use that. But I'm first going to the corner right here. I'm gonna fold a fabric piece right here. You always have to have the fabric piece nearby. So every time I use it, you can use as long as you can slide it right in front of the needle here. Put that down and then start sewing. So that is that everyone. So whatever you want to do, turn this into the basket you can too, or you can make it an Easter basket or gift bag or something like that. It's up to you. And the size is up to you if you want to make it bigger, increase the size of the square. Okay, I have one hand holding this. So it's um, 5 inch and 3 quarter of an inch, and then the high is here, 5 inches, okay? But it's it really roomy inside. You can put like a dozen of um, Easter egg in here. 
or you can put um you can put everything little thing in here for the gift if you want to stay safe everyone thank you so much for watching like share subscribe and also click on the bell notification so every time i upload the video you get notified thank you stay safe love you